It's not freezing this morning, but <laughs> we have a surprise. <laughs> the ground is white. Uh, snow loving weatherman's delight. Especially when I didn't think it could happen. Came in off the ocean last night. That was a different looking boat. What's that? Get some cargo. I haven't seen that boat. Usually get to know the boats that go by. Rex, do you recognize that boat? <clears throat> Delivering looks like uh, some compressor gear. I see a buoy, something to launch the buoy. Always fun. Very low tide this morning and there's snow on the beach. <clears throat> Excuse me. That means it was colder last night than I thought with the wind coming in off the ocean. Anyhow, let's see, let's uh, do some calculations. Uh, it was last Friday. One, Monday, two, Wednesday, yesterday, three, tracks Rex, and today, Thursday, four. Four of the last seven days have had at least a little snow on the ground. And I don't think any of us really expected that. What kind of print is that? Raccoon, maybe? Coming up my stairs here. And if we melt that snow, it may come down up, out to about 0 0.01 inches. So I'm going to put it in as a 0.1 in the gauge of measurable snow. <laughs> yeah, that's a 0.1. <clears throat> Pardon me. Where were we? <laughs> What's the forecast? It's snowing. Waffles for breakfast, says Chris in Newtown, Connecticut. Joe Kidston took Finn up to Turkey Hill. Says all he wanted to do was sniff around. <laughs> Joe Kidston always uh, sharing his videos with Finn who end up on TV quite often. And then he got home and there were some deer in the backyard. Joe's a, a Twitter friend, I consider him. And I was kind of surprised yesterday when he said, uh, I didn't expect snow today because the guidance did have it two days ago. The NAM had it yesterday, but Chatham came in with the most, I think, or at least the most beautiful photos from yesterday. Thank you, colors of Chatham. All right, so that's uh, past and present weather. It's still fairly cold in New England, and there is a batch of snow coming across Connecticut. Now, yesterday the snow came in from the east. Now it's coming in from the west. Weather going in two different directions usually means there's a storm brewing. And sure enough, look at the lightning. I talk about how lightning shows where the energy is. Tremendous amounts of energy this morning in the southern, southeastern United States. Tornado warnings to start the day in Mississippi. So uh, this is a major pulse of energy that came in off those West Coast killer storms. And uh, this one's going to drive up into New York. So after uh, several hours of snow in northern New England today, it is going to change to rain all the way up to about Caribou tonight and it'll change back to snow only gradually. I had to uh, delay that change back to snow at Jay Peak to probably about two or three in the afternoon now tomorrow. Uh, so still looking at three to four on the front side and then maybe up to a half inch of rain right in the middle at some of our ski areas. Uh, the Boston area probably comes in with about three quarters of an inch of rain. Huge changes to the overnight guidance. A few days ago, most of the guidance did show that the upper level low was going to come across here Saturday and Sunday with a surface low developing and the chance for some rain or snow in eastern New England. And it kind of faded over the last couple of days. But last night, just about all the guidance came back in with a benchmark nor'easter for eastern Massachusetts on Sunday. So all bets are off now. Uh, the weather changes. The weather forecast changes. It's been going back and forth, but now we're in the two to three day range and we did get four days this week of snow that we didn't really expect. So why not call for a snowstorm in Eastern Massachusetts on Sunday? The kind of storm that you plow, the kind of storm that you go down to the beach and look at the wind coming from the Northeast at 20 to 40 miles per hour with gusts to 50 or more on the national seashore. Yes. Uh, there's not just an outlier. Most of the guidance has this system. And that would probably lead to colder than expected weather coming in for Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday. Another wave comes through here Tuesday. And another change in the overnight guidance 
which is consistent, which was looking like a warmer storm coming in here next Thursday, Friday, now a much colder looking storm. Is this gonna happen? Well, there are some good signs uh, with the West Coast, that storm, train of storms, parade of storms off the Pacific. Looks like it's gonna break down. And look at that, looks like a duck in the Pacific Ocean in 10 days. Tremendous energy coming off of Asia and then kind of buckling off the West Coast. It looks like the Eastern Pacific. Yeah. Did I say duck or gull? I said duck. Eastern Pacific Oscillation may go negative with ridging along the West Coast that would cause troughing and cold air coming across the North Pole, coming back into North America in the five to 10 day period. So we're gonna get sort of winter 3.0. You know, we had that transition in November, we had the transition in December, and it looks like a transition is just starting to occur here in January. Grateful for whatever kind of little bit of snow we can get. The worms are fine under there. I was thinking about digging them up and saying hello, but now I'm just gonna prep the snow shovels. All right, what I'm gonna leave you with yesterday uh, is it was much nicer day than I thought here. Uh, huge ship going by. I'll put it in fast motion for your viewing pleasure. I like how it displaces the water and we can see it swirling as it runs into that groin. Is it groin? Where the ocean affects snow showers. out of the way. <laughs>